Hello Primarchs and welcome back. Joe here today and today we are discussing the top five armies. That's the top five armies. If you're interested in getting into 40k or if you are in 40k and looking for a new army, well those are the armies to go for. They have been uh, dominating right now tournaments and the competitive scene. That's pretty much what this is based on by judging other tournaments that are out there and gathering collective information and coming to you to a theater near you. Now with all that being said, if you're interested in the actual list, I do have list options for all these armies and I can show you if you're a Patreon member or if you're interested in being a Patreon member, head over there, check it out. And if you can't find it, you get the options to be a Discord. You can just talk to me in Discord and I will send you the information. Now, let's move along. So the top five armies that are right now dominating the field, um, some of them are gonna have allies obviously because allies are gonna be how you make things better. So the number one spot will be Imperial Guard. Imperial Guard right now is a very strong brigade option and a battalion option for cheap command points, not to mention the ability to refresh command points with all their uh, shenanigan abilities, their relics and their strategists where they can just keep getting command points back. You combine them with Blood Angels with the same abilities to get back command points and you combine them with Imperial Knights and you have uh, extremely strong and hard-hitting list probably one of the top lists out there right now if anyone faces it you can pretty much run three knights uh, a few uh, smash captains and a good amount of guard with mortars you will just crush nine of ten armies that you fight and the tenth one will probably be a mirror match or something similar so that is the top and like I said if you want to know how to build that list and if you want to know exactly what's in the list I am here to help you. So moving along we have the number two spot which is Jakari. Gotta love the Dark Elves, gotta love Eldar, always up there. You know, you know what, Dark Elder deserves it because they've been taking the shaft for a couple editions so I'll let them have their glory for a couple editions. So why are they strong? Well, they have the only ability to cancel stratagems, which is an awesome Dark Creed set. They have uh, awesome flyers, which can do some heavy damage. Ravengers are amazing. Archons are amazing. Just Taloses, they have so much good minuses to be hit and hard hitting abilities that they can be used extremely effectively. And they are being used extremely effectively, but keep in mind, most of these hard hitting top lists are being used with Eldar allies, having a Farseer, and an Autark is just a humongous add-on to that ability, plus some Rangers to get some quick little grabs of objectives. You can't go wrong. So, number three spot, of course, you gotta love the pointy more ears, you got the Eldar. Now, Eldar is, I'm gonna kinda give it in the top. It's, it's kind of tied with fourth, but we'll keep it, we'll just say third because Eldar has always kind of been strong. They're not as strong as they once were in the LVO Open, but they are still strong. The list can still be used effectively. If you're using uh, Dark Eldar allies and you're just throwing at least one patrol attachment or the Vanguard attachment where you're adding three Ravengers, whatever the heavy support one is, add three Ravengers and an Archon, you can get Dark Creed ability, so you can now cancel. Plus you added three Ravengers, which is really cool. So Eldar is still holding its own and still doing as good because their psychic powers are by far the best psychic powers in 40k right now moving along we got tie position which would be number four spot which is still i think this one is probably one of the strongest up and rising stars right now it just needs to be learned how to beat and it needs to be learned how to use better but imperial knights are moving up there imperial knights are extremely hard to deal with if you're not playing the right list yes if you're playing a tau gun line you can deal with these guys but not every single army is designed with a ton of blasters and a ton of gun lines to deal with three if you take the right knights these are hard to deal with now imperial knights their own can be run, but they're not gonna be run very effectively. Why? Because you obviously need allies to hold objectives, to make sure that you can do all the other things you can. So rinse and repeat on tier one list, but you can pretty much use these the same. The command points come down to it, and you want the relics, you want the warlord traits, and if you're just using those, you're pretty much down to about five command points by the time you start. And anyone that plays Imperial Knights knows that's not enough command points to do anything, so you need the support of the allies. So again, those kind of go hand in hand with the fourth and one, um, just because. So fifth is my personal preference, and I still believe this could be one of the top lists if played effectively, is, um, is Tau. I love Tau, I'll stand by Tau, I'll go black and blue because of Tau, but I mean, they are the standard list. There are standard template Tau lists. You just can't play any Tau models. There's very few Tau models in that codex that are really good. 
I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just like most codexes, they have their bad units. But if you want to win with Tau, there's really probably only about six units, six different choices in that book to be used, which is hard to say. But I mean, again, this is a competitive channel. If you're someone that just likes to play for fun, you're allowed to play with whatever models you want. But if you want to play in these competitive soup tournaments, and they're not as bad soup as they used to be, because you used to have six or seven things, now you can only three, but still, these are tournament lists. And if you're watching this page, you're obviously curious about that. And I mean, even if you're just interested in playing and you want to get a list that you at least can do half decent with, any one of those lists will hold its own against most other lists. So. Let's talk about some honorable uh, mentions that are good to put in there. Obviously, Blood Angels on their own are, are, are crap. I mean, quite frankly, a straight Blood Angel list won't do very well in a competitive scene. You can maybe get lucky and snag a victory here and there, but you're not going to do too well in the end. But as an ally, Smash Captains are unbelievable. And the Relic to get command points back, again, a great combo. The Ignore Overwatch uh, Relic, again, some amazing combos. Uh, Tyranids are still scary. Tyranids have access. If you make, I have some amazing Tyranid lists on my Patreon page that would just wreck a lot of these lists. And pretty much the only list that I know they have a hard time dealing with is Imperial Knights, just because they lack so much abilities to take out some of those. They can drop maybe one knight a turn if they get lucky, and that's not enough with all their support. So Nids again definitely deserve an honorable mention, just because they are decent. Um, I'm hoping. Orcs and Space Wolves are going to change the meta. I'm hoping they're really going to allow some new flow abilities to be allowed. Maybe make open top vehicles for Orcs Assault Vehicles where they can move and you can get out and charge after. So you get an extra charge range, but on a roll D6 for each model and a 1, they're killed just because they're jumping off, get run over by their going. But I mean, think of your truck moving up like 12 inches and then you get to move out six inches and then you get to assault it'd be amazing you get to assault first turn but you know it would come at a price you might lose but it has to be a stratagem obviously you can't make a whole orc army do that but make it a stratagem like a one or two point up stratagem where a truck can do that that'd be pretty badass if you ask me so i'm looking forward to those two lists to shaking up the meta maybe they have the ability to do it just think maybe the smash captains are good just wait to think the thunder hammer uh wolf lord so if we have wolf lords we have hero guard and blood smash captains this is going to be an ultimate combine list so Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you're interested in more of these uh, list reviews, by all means, you can always ask me and I will be more than happy to help you. If not, please subscribe and more videos to come.